be running the dominator i got a lot going on in this video okay first of all i want to give a big shout out to the boat gang in i appreciate you sending the gnss performance analyzer uh in actually has a hobby shop down in jacksonville florida if you guys are in the area check them out hurricane hobbies okay so big shout out to in thank you uh, another one I wanted to give a shout out to is Nick. He actually sent this waterproof GNSS performance analyzer case. It's waterproof, water resistant. It actually floats with the GNSS in the box. So I wanted to give a shout out to Nick. Thank you. Um, it actually has this seal and everything. I'll have a link in the description, but it fits in there perfect. I need to figure out how to mount it on the, on the hull. I didn't bring any double side tape. But um, we'll be running this here shortly. Uh, another thing we're going to be testing today is the propeller. Last video I hit something and I rolled the leading edge. So in that video I kind of worked it out. Uh, kind of fast forward through it, walked you through my process. And um, yeah, I got most of the roll out. There's just a little bit of cupping at this point. So I mashed it up on the other blade, reduced blade area. I'm also, I also just finished dropping my strut, well, yeah, the, str the stinger depth down. I had to pull the stuffing tube. I put a quarter inch, well, I've been running a quarter inch stuffing tube, so I don't run no liner. But um, I dropped it all the way down, like, basically, so that the stinger's dang near, dang near level with the bottom of the boat, okay? So we're going to be testing that out. Um, dropping my stuffing tube stinger down should give us a drier running boat. Okay, nothing was wrong with the previous stinger stinger position. I just wanted to try something different. Um, I just feel like I can get the boat up out the water a little bit more. It's so darn stable with the previous well stock position. I just feel like I can get a little more from it. So uh, let's see. Let's see. Got it. Got it zeroed out. I'm not trying for extreme speed, especially not with that prop. I'm just testing my prop mod. I'll show you guys the um, the, the stuffing tube, like dropping it down at the end of the video. I'll, I'll include a clip or two. Uh, so let's see what's going on with it here. Kind of got high hopes. I have no idea how fast this prop was before I modified it, but um, let's see what it does now. Oh boy. Oh, that's pretty freaking nice. Yeah, I ran this prop yesterday. I made a whole video for for this prop, but um, <laughs> I, I didn't I didn't upload it because I got the GNSS and I figured I would. Oh, that's pretty nice. It does look like the boat's up out the water a little more. I can work on the stinger position in this. This, the trim tab and all that, COG. Man, that's nice. That is nice, man. That is nice. So let's see. What, what did I do here? Okay, okay. Oh, what? What? What did I do? I don't know what happened there. I've had this GNSS before. I lost it in my um, my Sonic Wake. Fifty-six. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. Track. Start. Okay. That ain't too bad. 56, it's, but it's got like really good like hole shot, you know? And the temps, the temps with this 48 millimeter prop are really cool, or they were before I had to rework it, you know? I tell you what, that is pretty, man. It sounds like it's um, humming a little better, you know, since I reduced that blade area. I'll take it, boy. 
I'll take it. It does look like it's running a little drier. <laughs> My driving today is kind of terrible. <laughs> Oh man, on oh, rails. On oh, rails. Get that battery warmed up a little bit. Come on. Pull trigger. Nice. I think I need to come off that steering dual ray a little bit. Little race boat, boy. The speed, real quick, I'll do a speed check. Warmed up better. Stop, 12 satellites, 56 again. All right, probably could get some more speed if I were to sit here and, you know, spend about 30 minutes and tune it. But, um, I got some stuff to go do after this, so I'm trying to do this rather quick <laughs> a big shout out to mark gambina he sent like a whole uh, well a hundred of these uh ziploc bags right here for my, for my gps so they don't get wet so thank you he got them on amazon I believe. she did pretty good boys i think uh i think this prop mod actually gave me a little more speed i had no way to tell 56 i'll freaking take it so um nice and dry after the modification so um i'll show you guys before and after like a quick little clip or two of the mod so enjoy so on the dominator i've actually uh took my stinger off pulled my servo and uh i drilled out well heated up my old stuffing tube which i actually run a quarter inch stuffing tube with no liner for my 0.187 cables in this boat. Uh, stock, it comes with a liner. I, I did away with the liner about a month after I received this boat. And uh, I'm actually moving my stuffing tube depth down. Okay, you guys see the top? You see the top of that hole? That's where it was. I'm actually moving it down closer to the keel so we can get our, a drier running boat um i hope that's i hope that's okay if it's not it'll be easy to replace it just take the stinger off again this will be my third stuffing tube that i've had in this boat stock the upgraded no liner and now lowering my stuffing tube no liner uh so this right here may help some of you guys out that have this boat <clears throat> actually i did this like when I initially did my stuffing tube installed, I um, I used a stepped bit and drilled under my servo there. So kind of like an inspection plate. It helps you kind of see what you're doing in here so you're not blind, okay, because this servo mount don't move out. I'm almost tempted, while I have everything apart, I'm almost tempted cutting this out and mounting the these, these servo mount right here. Because if I did that, <clears throat> I could almost run my ESC back there, you know. But the boat runs so good with this forward CG, the way the, the motor, ESC, and battery set up with this heavier motor. It actually runs pretty good. So I, I really, I just wanted to show you guys how deep I'm going with this strut before I assemble everything. I'm about to fill that hole with carbon fiber and epoxy, a little bit of uh, cabocil. I've got to, uh, like... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and fill these holes and then re just re-drill them lower 
so I can get my stuffing tube, my stinger and stuffing tube drop down. So, a little update. Um, it was actually running pretty good the other day with this uh, 4814. But, uh, you know, I've been wanting to do this. Um, I've actually changed the stuffing tube on my Delta Force 35 several times. Several times, you know. So, uh, just a little update here. Uh, on my Delta Force 35, I've got it real low. And the boat runs nice and dry. This boat's faster than my Delta Force 35, so I hope I'm making the right decision. With the stuffing tube higher, she's actually fairly planted in the water. Don't really chime walk and all that. Hopefully, hopefully it don't chime walk after I do this. We'll see. Okay, so I got it. It's sealed up. It's uh, basically epoxied into the boat. I got it extremely low. It basically as low as I could get it with this stinger. All right. Um... I didn't have to file any off the bottom, but I did. Just, just in case I need to get some up, you know, some up angle, it won't scoop water up because I do have it really low. But, uh, I, well, I guess you could kind of see how low I got it. Looking at my old holes and my new hole, it's. I mean, it's not that much lower. Maybe four millimeters lower. You guys see that right there? Maybe four millimeters, two millimeters okay, lower. So that's my final product. You can't even tell that I lowered that stinger. Okay. Use some chopped up carbon fiber in my epoxy on those holes so it kind of blends into the into the hole. Flush with the bottom. You can see where I, I I kind of filed right here, that little triangle on the bottom of my my stinger. So it don't like scoop up water, you know. Which it probably wouldn't have probably unnecessary but uh i did it and it looks looks to be good i think it'll run good uh you guys probably already seen it run in the video but um we're gonna give it a rip i have high hopes thanks for watching big b we're in clay rc